Okay, students, friends, we're now on part four, almost at the end. The next day with tears in their eyes, the brothers said goodbye to Sunday. She kissed each one and with, their, with her suitcase in hand, she left for the bus station. What a sad moment. Reverend and the brothers went to church. Then with the rays of the sun shining on, on his face and the spirit of love touching his heart, Reverend gave the sermon of his life. Looking right at his sons, he preached, shouted, and even started to prance, talking about trusting in the Lord and remembering how to trust one another. He got carried away and he did the twist, the mashed potato and the monkey time. Those are dances, by the way. When he started the funky chicken, the whole congregation sprang to its feet and began to wail. The brothers shouted the loudest. Wow, all of that going on in the church? Wow. <laughs> as soon as church was out, the boys rushed to their father. They told the whole story how they loved to dance and sneak out to the big ballroom, the big band ballroom, but were afraid he wouldn't approve and how Sunday had only tried to give them time to face their father. Reverend hugged his sons and asked, can you forgive me for keeping, keeping, keeping something from you? The brothers looked puzzled. Reverend Knight said, I used to be the best dancer at the sock hops. Now we better hurry and try to get Sunday back. Looks like it's gonna be a happy ending. Sunday was just getting ready to board the bus when Reverend Knight out of breath, knelt down right in the middle of the street. Sunday, will you dance with me? He told her how sorry he was and how she needed to come back home so they could be a family. The brother surrounded her. She had to say yes. Well, let the church bell start ringing. The brothers were so happy, they started dancing and the people on the street started dancing and chanting. There's gonna be a wedding, there's gonna be a wedding. I had to call my designer and get an outfit. Wow. Sunday and Reverend were married and had their reception at the big band ballroom what a party that was. <laughs> oh, and they all live happy ever after, except me. <laughs> Who do you think it was that said except me? Treated me like a dog. <laughs> Put me outside because nobody went and gave them a cat. I'm telling you, you just can't trust people. <laughs> oh, poor Happy. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you will listen to it again. I had fun with it. Until next time, be well.